He giveth his beloved sleep. My dear wife, Lindsay, is resting, getting over a sickness bug, and we give Jesus the praise and all the glory. And the Lord has led me to share with you today some things about healing in our healing miracle service. Let me say to you, I can witness time and time again the healing miracles of our Lord. Some time ago, I was so concerned, yes, even frightened, when Dr. Ducker of the South Macca's surgery here in Whitton, Scotland, a lovely man, he referred me to the urology department at the Dumfries and Galloway surgery, surgery hospital, Royal Infirmary, that's the title. And after an MRI scan, the dear doctor there felt he had found something wrong with my prostate. And you get scared. And if this is you today, the Bible has a message to you. Come unto me, all ye who are heavy laden. I will give you rest. Cast your cares upon him. He careth for you. And I was scared. And I was sent for to go for what's called a truss examination. What they call as evasive or invasive. And of course, I went through the process of submitting this to the Lord Jesus. Now, Lindsay and I have had many years in the ministry of persecution. And all we long to do is share with the true body of Christ our faults, the way we are, what we are. You know, the Bible says, confess your faults one to another that ye may be healed. But we have experienced in practice that which calls itself Christian, which of course is not Christian, is very intolerant of the healing ministry. Let me say to you today, my Lord Jesus is not changed. He is the same yesterday, today, forever. Even saying in John's gospel, the greater things will follow those who believe. I've experienced those greater things on one occasion in Sri Lanka. A young man was brought to me with no eyes. Pastor, they said, he wants to see, but he has no eyes. I said unto the Lord, oh my God. And I heard his voice clearly. He said, yes, I'll take over. You see, at the point of admitting our weakness, he takes over. It's when I'm weak, said Paul, it's when I'm strong. And when we hear that voice, something gets a hold of us. You know, the Bible says, attend to my words. They are life unto them that find them. Health to all their flesh. The Bible says that he sent his word and healed them. The Bible says, attend to my words. They are life unto them that find them. Health to all their flesh. And so on this occasion, I was scared. I was sent for the MRI scan. They said, bring a CD with you. When you're in that tunnel, you can listen to the CD. I went to the place of the scanner. The staff were so lovely at Dumfries and Galloway Royal Infirmary. And I was placed in the tunnel. Thank God my head was still out one end of it. And I brought with me a Gaither CD. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. You see, how can you go through these things without the Lord Jesus Christ? How can you go through the torments and the toils of life without the Lord Jesus Christ? 
<coughs> having been a DJ in my earlier years, having heard that the examination would take 20 minutes, I knew that was about six tracks. And you hear all kinds of strange noises in your headphones. Those of you who had an MRI scan will know what I'm talking about. <coughs> and having seen the results, the dear doctor at Dumfries called me back for what's called a truss examination, which you had to hold your knees up to your chin so the doctor can go up your rear end quite high up to take a biopsy of your um, prostate and the examination was so evasive I lost blood pressure I got low blood pressure I nearly passed out I'm so grateful for the staff there <clears throat> who was so loving and so caring and I was taken to a recovery room which was full. So I was taken into a room by myself and a nurse came in who was a born again Christian. And what a joy it was to share with her and she was so caring and loving. And as is my way, when I went to the second recovering area, I found myself joking there, cheering up the men who'd been going through these evasive examinations. Oh, to have the joy of the Lord. And I remember something specific. And I, I can see the place now in the spirit outside of the infirmary in which the Lord Jesus came to me. He said, speak with me over those private areas I spoke with him and I was called back for the results of the trust examination and they found nothing wrong am I sharing with you miracles today I so long for you to know the Lord Jesus but now having had many years in the healing ministry I know where the attack comes. It happened with Jesus in his ministry. He said this, and I read from Matthew's Gospel 21, verse 21. This is in the context of the fig tree withering away. Verily I say unto you, if ye have faith and doubt not, you shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. But who is that you? I have begun to learn what faith is, and it's not a human thing, said Paul. I am crucified with Christ. One. We all need to come to the cross of Calvary. And at that cross we bear our burdens, our sorrows, our sickness and disease. For it is on that cross all that was taken by him for us. Praise his holy name. And as the realization comes to us by faith, supernatural faith, for for Paul said, I live by the faith of the Son of God. In Habakkuk it says, the just shall live by his faith and his faith alone. And we move in this by confession of our weakness, our inability. It says Romans 8, 26, 27, the Spirit helpeth our infirmities. That means mental inability. Astenea is the Greek word, which means exactly that. And when you come to Him and confess your faults, confess your sin, and open up to Him, He shall surely take you in and heal you.
And all things said the same. Whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer believing, ye shall receive. I was in that circle of the Son and the Spirit interceding to the Father, speaking over my private areas. And I give Jesus the praise and all the glory. This was some time ago. But I give a warning when it comes to the healing ministry. The religious people don't like it. And Jesus went about doing good. Acts 10, 38. Healing all oppressed of the devil. Because God was with him. But right there to attack was the religious spirit. Jesus saith unto the Pharisees, Did ye never read in the scriptures, the stone which the builders rejected, the same is become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our sight. Now where we are based in Wit on Scotland, we are rejected as a Christian institution. Those who do go to church, go to the Kirk, the Church of Scotland, where I saw no ministry to the sick. With seven months of going there when we first came here in 2018. Oh, to have a fellowship where men and women can come and open up unto the Lord and unto each other where we can trust each other and receive the blessings of the Lord but instead of working with us the Kirk put up notices warning people against us just as we read in Matthew 21 45 when the chief priests and Pharisees had heard his parables they perceived that he spake of them but when they sought to lay hands on him, they feared the multitude because they took him for a prophet. You know, as we have just read, the stone which the builders reject, the same has become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore I say unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof. How can a ministry, how can a nation bear fruit through admission of weakness? Remember the song, and now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. You know, I would add to that and say, the bound can say, I am free. The sick can say, I am whole because of what the Lord has done. Will you come to the Savior today and give him the whole of your life? Will you say, Lord Jesus, I confess I am a sinner or I confess I'm scared of a diagnosis I've just received. The Lord Jesus is ever willing, ever calling you unto him to receive him. And as I was healed of my prostate issue, and I have many other testimonies too, so he shall heal you. God bless you and thank you for joining us in our miracle healing service. And we give Jesus all the praise and we give him all the glory. God bless you. We'll see you again soon.
Thank you.